Tell me, do you got love for me? When it feels so ugly, ugly, ugly. Yeah. Homie, I got pain. Don't think you feel it. I got feel this rain. I hate they hear it. I feel so lost and afraid. Oh, Lord, could you show me the way? I'm singing. Lord. Too. Raised up in this poverty, what in the world I'm supposed to do? Tell me, do you know? Cause young Izzy has no hint or clue. Just because I found God doesn't mean I'm brand new. Oh, he's just a church boy. No, he don't hurt boy. What you think I'm blind and I don't know about that work boy? Please don't be fool, I'm from the same neighborhood as you. Deep boys, crack things, running from them boys in blue. Trash on the ground, filled with broken glass. Ganja in the air, welcome to the lower class. Youngins on the Port static wasting all the time. Trying to come up very fast, static selling nicks and dimes. Home at 25 with an eighth grade education. It's happening in your town, matter of fact, around the nation. I can be that jit when nobody loves to hug me. I'm praying every night, wondering if he loves ugly. Homie, I got pain. can get aggressive i'm gonna get myself killed 20 dollars for a trick i know i'm worth more than this i want to change my life god i really want to quit but who gonna take me as i am preacher said that i am damn every man that ever smiles sees me as a piece of ham got a virus in my body from a man who robbed and raped me the way i live my life is sort of like modern slavery I'm my pen will let me go how in the world i'll make my dough turning tricks to make a buck is all this girl has ever known on the house i look at Consider your words if you never drunk from my mug. Please tell me what is the love, cause I don't see it on earth. Been having sex with these men since five years after my birth. I was raped and abused by my mother's second husband. Ever since then, I've been chasing down loving. I'm ugly. I'm only trying to eat, trying to satisfy my hunger. I've been unemployed since I got back to the States. Been fighting overseas, yeah, just for your sake. I suffer every day from post-traumatic stress. The war it plays back in my head, it was a mess. I've seen many men die, die. many men cry, cry. The in my hand, I cry out to the Lord, why? I never had a family to take care of my needs. Just a VA help sometimes, but I'm in need of more leads. This housing is expensive. Proceeding all my wages I swear that I'm a dog locked up in society's cages You people say I'm lazy But you don't understand It is not easy for a war veteran So I'm crying out loud To the one who dwells above me Hoping by chance that he does love ugly I'm I ugly. got pain you feel it. I got pain South side Do you want war? We can get you cracking, I'ma bring it to your door Have you screaming, no, no more, no more I can leave your body laying right up on the floor Cause I don't trust nobody no more, no more Have you, have you screaming, no, oh, 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 no, oh, 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 no, oh, 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 oh. 
you have you screaming no, oh, 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 no, oh, 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 no. With the police killing us every day, it's becoming the biggest struggle to wake up with the trouble. Keeping the tail coat on my neck, I'm getting no oxygen, just RC double. And all I wanted was the bubble, they throw a rush, they making me stumble. Just because of my color, they say they can never see me as one of their brother, you motherfucker. Then leave me the fuck alone, why you gotta sabotage? It isn't like you don't have more than me, you just a greedy asshole. We ask, we ask, we beg, we ask, we not doing that anymore. Y'all kept fucking with us, money ducking from us, and you don't want us to be more, so what's the score? How many bodies bleeding on the floor, laying in gore? And tell me, since those are good, how many tragedies the future has in store? As you can see the blast for me and the economy, got us all hanging over air. We take the survivors because they divide us, so we cannot even count hands. Can't even break bread as they rob and burn in that community down to the ground. Taking our leaders, our bleeders, they feed us for a technicality, lock them down. Or don't look at style like this hasn't been happening since the beginning. We never been winning, stuck in the midst of sinning as the adversary's grinning. We know this is war. Do you want war? We can get you cracking, I'ma bring it to your door. Have you screaming, no, no more, no more. I can leave your body laying right up on the floor. Cause I don't trust nobody no more, no more. Have you, have you screaming, no, oh, 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 no, oh, 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 no, oh, 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 oh
has had an effect that you know didn't it wasn't warranted. We 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 could have avoided it. And what I'm talking about is George Floyd. George Floyd was a uh, an innocent man. He was an innocent man who lost his life simply because a white officer, and I have to state the facts, uh, and I'm not trying to call this a racial thing, even though I am going to say it is a racial thing, but we're going to refrain from that for right now. But a white cop decided to put his neck, I mean his knee, on another man's neck, a black man's neck, to the point where that black man could not breathe again. Now I know y'all heard the narrative. Everybody heard the narrative. You know what I said? It's been, it's been a fucking uproar ever since uh, last week where it, it kind of, it, it, the connotations actually have a weird foreshadow, uh, not foreshadowing, but a, an allusion to the past uh, uh, uh uh, Philando Castile and, and, and John Crawford and Trayvon Martin and and, 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 and and I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. Eric Gardner. Eric Gardner. Yeah, Eric Gardner. That's the Michael main Brown. one. But that's the main one right there. Michael Brown too. But let's look at Michael Brown. And, I mean, excuse me, Eric Gardner. And let's look he at was he was choked to death. Yeah. Choked to death. That if they would have okay. Before I continue with that conversation. I do have a lovely guest in the building right now who I am glad to say I am happy I was able to talk to come in. And I'm going to let her introduce herself real quick. So, uh, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself to the world. All right. My name is Jen, but I will also go by Silk Spectre. Yeah. I like to keep it real, and I'm also from the Bronx, New York. What, yes, what? Yes, yes. You know what I'm talking about. So, we know I say you go have... Two real shit talking motherfuckers talking about this situation tonight because I think that real. this is what it needs to be. It's gonna happen. It's yeah. gonna go down. But so you actually have the comparison of what happened with Eric Gardner. Yes. And then you have uh, what happened with George uh, George Floyd George. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, George Floyd. You know he was a rapper. He used to do like Texas raps for music. Did not know that. He did that. Like he was actually like a like a rapper. He actually did screw music, That's which see. was amazing. He was actually big for Texas, which I don't know because, like I said, I'm from the Bronx. Right. But it came up that he was in screw music, and that. And I think that's amazing. I think that's awesome. Exactly. And it, it you know, he was a good guy. He was a very philanthropist person. He would give the pretty much shirt off his back to a stranger. This was not, no, this was not, you know, someone that you can deem as, like, the media likes to twist it. And I say the media, you know, because the media does twist it. Well, why did he resist? Why did he do this? Why did he do that? That fool, that shit does not matter. It doesn't matter. Because you know why? Why did that white guy, Dylan... Fucking shoot 13 people in a fucking church. And he got Burger King. But he got Burger King at the end. Bur- he was able to be, not only see his due date in court, but that fool got fed. Now, and that, now to be to, to be honest, to be honest, if it takes killing 13 people in order to get some burger, free Burger King, Burger King is that kind of good. <laughs> I'm just Does saying. Does it? McDonald's and Wonder <laughs> Burger is bigger. As a matter of fact, White Castle, if y'all don't right. know about you know that shit, about? get you some. I'm trying to tell you. But that White is- Castle's better. <laughs> <laughs> but, you oh, know, hell. Not to make light of the situation, but you got to understand the to. irony of this. You know what I'm saying? They want us to look at this and be like, oh, it should, we should just turn a blind eye to this. But the, it, it, at the very least, it, it's hilarious how they look at minority. And again, you know, if you've been listening to Revolutionary Hour for a long time, you know how I feel about the word minorities. You know, we already know that 
don't like it. I really don't like that term. Now, for all those who are probably listening for the first time, I do need to explain this because if I do it, you, maybe you'll be able to see things in a brighter note. Okay. You know, you you right now you have uh, two different forms of government that exist on the land that is now called the United States of America. Okay. And the first form of government that was established uh, was the Republic. And the Article 4, Section 4 of the United States Constitution states that every state shall be guaranteed a Republican form of government. And I stop thinking about Republicans and Democrats. I'm not talking about the parties. That has nothing to do with it. Think about forms of government. So what is a Republican? Uh, what is a Republican form of government? A Republican form of government is pretty much where everybody has a say-so but the majority rule. Meaning that if there's a white guy, a Mexican guy, and a black guy voting on... Uh, let's say gay marriage and the black guy and the white guy agree that gay marriage should be legalized okay sorry Mexican guy gay marriage is not legalized but now let's talk about marijuana and you have the Mexican guy and the black guy saying that they want marijuana legalized okay I'm sorry white boy you're gonna have to just smoke with us now I know you didn't want to smoke that good shit with us, you know what I'm saying? But now it's legal. You want to have to now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how the republic works. It had nothing to do with race. But in a democracy, a democracy already has predetermined majorities and predetermined minorities. minorities. So this is the reason why there is an electoral college versus a popular vote. You have a popular vote, which is how many people in the whole United States want this person to be president. And then you have the electoral vote, which can go completely opposite of what the popular vote says. It depends on how many states. Right. The states and how many fucking votes that they actually have. Exactly. So it's already I, determined. I feel like, shouldn't we stop at the popular vote? I mean, that says everything right there. I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. But honestly, I'm going to take it a step further. I don't think that the two parties are doing us any service whether you're mm-hmm. democrat or republican because for example it is basically making us choose the lesser of two evils right so for right now you have biden who basically uh, uh. said on air to charlemagne the god on Bre- breakfast club which is a talk show in new york city he basically said, if you can't tell the difference between voting me and Trump, this is Biden saying this, then you need to check your blackness. How is a white guy going to tell you to check your blackness because you don't know whether to choose him or Trump, the lesser of two evils? If that he, ain't a slap in the face. That's a slap in the face. Real what the talk. fuck? Real talk. See, Real talk. And that's the thing, but they make us choose between these two assholes. Like. Right. Fucking Bernie dropped out. Like anybody that could have given us a better life, a better future for a fucking us, your college students, your kids, they've dropped out. Literally, you only have Trump to revote again for another four goddamn years. Which he's gonna win. Which he probably is gonna win. Yeah, I would bet money on that shit. Yeah. Because we have that much ignorant motherfuckers. That's how, that's how sad America has become. Yes. But you also have Biden, and honestly, he's not that much better. Like, no. I would totally vote for Bernie versus Biden. Biden is telling you to check your blackness. Meanwhile, he's a 70-year-old fucking white man. Who is he to tell you to check your blackness? That, to me, tells me that old-fashioned phrase from fucking, like, slavery days. Yes. Stay hey. your fucking place, boy. Yes. And that's what I hear yes. when he said that shit. Know Who's your fucking fuck? place, oh. boy. Tell him again. Say your fucking place, boy. Uh-huh. And you know what? That's exactly what he was saying when he said, check your blackness. Nah. No, tell him to check his fucking privilege and suck it up nah. his ass. Now, nah. with, that that? with that being said, I think this is actually something that we need to actually discuss. Because, um, you know, we have the fact that a lot of people don't understand that the Democrats used to be called the Ditsy Crats and the Ditsy Crats used to be the party of the slave owners. True facts. Democrats were the ones. The Republic, that is facts. Republicans wasn't even, were opposed well, to slavery at well, the time. Well, not actually because there wasn't even any Republicans because everybody at that time was considered a Republican because that's the type of government that we was under. 
even the Dissycrats. The Dissycrats okay. was the Republicans, but then okay. you had the Wiggamores. The Wiggamores was the ones who opposed the Dixiecrats, oh, and they sure. were the abolitionists. The Wiggamores got their name because of the simple fact they wore wigs, but they advocated for the Moors, oh, okay. who were my ancestors, your ancestors, and the people who originally was on America before the Europeans Can got here. Can you pause you right there? I know that I said who I was and where I was from, but I also want to say that I'm Puerto Rican. Yes. As well. Born yes. in New York, but I am very strong in my Puerto Rican, Dominican culture, and very proud. Mm -hmm. Wepa for all of y'all yes, out there. Yes. You know? Um, uh, but to be honest, this is why I have a problem with our government because of how it's treated my people since the very beginning. I mean, if you look at just Puerto Rico's history as a whole, United States fucking took advantage of it. We were a prime right there perfect spot for naval and war strategic okay and not only and now that but our resources and not only that yes. but our people they experimented that. with us with motherfucking birth control was which was passed by congress that's a fact you can google it is yeah. there and not only that but the only reason why they made us american citizens was so we can be drafted immediately for world war one Puerto Ricans have stand there by side American soldiers since war, World One, and that's World War Two, and that's Vietnam, and the Gulf War, and the Korean War. Every war you can think of, Puerto Ricans have been drafted and been side by side with the American, but we are not treated as Americans. Every time a hurricane or an earthquake happen, where is America? They look at us like we're the red-headed stepchild. They don't realize that, yes, us brown people who can only speak Spanish, yeah, we're American citizens too. You no. granted that us since no. 1916. And see, this is the messed up thing that they have everybody brainwashed in. You was American citizen. You was an American before. Before the they States. were in the United States. Yes, because you know what? Puerto Ricans are ancestors of the Taino Indian. T A I N O S. And, and we were the ones that were in Puerto Rico mm -hmm. before Christopher Columbus yes. and his stupid ass came yes. and fucked everything up. Hell, Brazilians are Americans. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mexicans are Americans. So because when you tell feel, all these Ecuadorians and Guatemalans and Mexicans to go back to their country, bitch, we are in their country. Exactly. We're in Texas. We are in their motherfucking country. This shit was part of their country. Hell, Canada is part of their country. That's why they're North America. North America. I mean, I don't understand what y'all don't. Why people never understood that. Because yes. they look at shit like, war, like for example, wars somehow make everything legit. Like, oh, you won this war. Right. You lost this war. Right. So you lost this and we won that and that's what it is. But that's so stupid. Like, do you realize what you're saying? You're basically saying we killed people. Then we killed more people than you, so we won, and right. we own this land now, and it's ours. Right. And the thing is, though, if we don't stop that type of thinking of that conquering shit, we there's nothing to conquer. Just get along with each other. There That's is it. nothing to conquer. If you want a future for your goddamn kids and your grandkids, stop trying to conquer shit, and stop trying to take resources from other people. Live in unity and love each other because that is the only hope that we have that's it. for our fucking kids, period. Because that's who it's supposed to be for anyway, see. Well, I'm in my the, 30s. I'm going to die in like 20 years if not Allah, less. Allah. Uh, if, 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 <laughs> fucking with me, she's going to be alive to 121 years old. Like, why does fuck Maybe. nigga curse me? Why did he curse me? I'm ready to go. I'm ready what to the go. Fuck? Let me go. I don't want to be a I one. want my kids to grow up where they can walk down the street and not see their friend getting shot down or killed by police. Right. I want them to be able to walk down the street and fear not the police. Right. That that something might happen to them. You know what I'm saying? See, like. Now, 
I want them to live in unity and love and be able to walk down the street and be able to go down to their friend's house and nothing bad happen to them. Right. We cannot say that at this day and age that that could happen. And, and it, my son is 11 and my youngest is 3. And I know what y'all saying out there. Y'all saying out there that, yeah, it's easier said than done. It's not But it actually, can be done. No, no. The thing about it is it's actually easier done than said. Because I can't actually explain to you, but I'm about to try. The city council and the mayor holds the contracts for the police department. I'm just saying, you become a mayor, you can limit the police powers. I'm just... Can I say something? Yes, yes. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Most prisons are now privatized. So Uh what that means is the more bodies you have in your prisons, the more income that you have. It doesn't matter if you are a first-time offender. They literally put a prison... A guy in prison for having two joints for and twelve years in jail. Right. And, Why? Uh-huh. Because that is what makes the cops money. Right. That is what makes the prison money. Right. Because the prisons are not federally owned anymore. Right. They're privatized by mm-hmm. these old ass rich people with fucking money mm-hmm. and they don't give a fuck about the conditions yep. of these prisoners. All they see is to change, to change, to change. All right, I'm gonna give a shout out to Florida right now, but uh, yeah, I was locked up in Lake City uh, Correctional Institution, which was a private institution. You know what I'm saying? And um, uh, the reason why they sent me there was because I caused certain types of trouble at the last camp I was at. I wasn't in no gang riots or nothing like that. I actually caused trouble that actually got. The officers in trouble to where 85% of them had to either be transferred or fired. So I had to be transferred into a private prison where I was treated uh, way better than the prison that mm-hmm. I was at. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you, like what, like what the what 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 are the officers told me that um, the reason why pri- uh, prisons are becoming privatized right now is because of big money, of big money. Now, this is where things get extraordinary because once you understand what is actually happening, then you will be able to actually stop things like this from happening. But the main thing is is that when you got these private prisons, these private prisons, it will stop being filled if you get rid of or 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 regulate the police department because... The sheriff, who is the only constitutional law enforcement officer, will not arrest you and put you in jail for certain things that makes you end up not cop, uh, not taking it to trial but copying out. So now a case that you could have beat, uh, and I'm a case in point. I am a case in point. I'm gonna tell you a little story real quick if y'all got time. All right, everybody, my, all my old listeners on here, y'all already know this, so please bear with me. You know where I'm gonna get at. 2016, I got popped with two pounds of weed coming from Texas going to Florida. They locked me up for 89 days there only to drop the charges for me driving without a license and not mention anything about the two pounds of marijuana. Mm. That is a charge that is now going up in the air. While at the same time I was in there, they got raided by the FBI. And I ain't talking about the inmates. I'm talking about the sheriff's department, the police department, the DA office, the courthouse. Got raided by the FBI. If you want to look it up, look up Tangible Hall Parish FBI raid. Mm-hmm. And it'll tell you about all the sheriffs who got implemented. It'll tell you about all the, the DAs, that, the, the DA that got implemented, and all the judges, and all that real shit. Anyway, by understanding what real law is, you'll understand that what a crime is. And mm-hmm. as long as there's no victim or no damage to property, there is no crime. You're supposed to be innocent until proven exactly. guilty. And that is the law. And you know, I don't know if you don't mind sharing my experience. Um, 
I literally bought three years ago. This was a while back, but I literally bought a car, leasing it, whatever. And you know, when you in Texas, especially, you know, when you buy a car, the dealership. Like I know in Virginia, I had to go to the DMV to get my license plate, but in Virginia, I mean in Texas, your dealership basically calls you and be like, yo, we got your license plate, come through. And we come through and we get our license plate, right? Right. Nothing, no harm, no foul, right? So I'm riding around with my friends, you know, listening to Limb Biscuit, don't judge me. I have a very wide range of music that I love to listen to. So we're singing and all of a sudden I get pulled over and I'm like shocked, right? I'm like, oh my God, I haven't been pulled over in so long. Like I'm not speeding. I do not run a red light. I use my turn signal. Like what the fuck could they possibly be pulling me over for, right? So I pull over. This girl, white girl, blonde, blue eyes, cop. And already I started to get nervous. I was like, oh, shit, it's a white bitch. I'm already dead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. yo, I'm done, yo. Like, I'm done. And y'all say, like, ah, oh, oh, whatever. But no, seriously, like, female cops are the worst cops ever because they got something to prove. Yes. They got to be like, I'm better than one of the boys. Like, they have a power trip like no other. The worst cops to me were always the female cop. Point blank. They were the worst. So here I am with my two friends in the car and I don't know if I should say this on air, you but yes. You can say whatever you want on air. We I already were, told him it was really? going to be explicit. Okay, cool. So we were <laughs> on our way to get weed, all right? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to tell you that we weren't going to on our way to do anything illegal. And I say that with quotation marks. Because let's re- let's forget that 24 states have already legalized marijuana recreation or medicinal. But whatever. Tess, hey, 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 just for all y'all out there, I'm going to say it for the governor and the mayors of the city. That marijuana is legalized, just not on paperwork. Okay? Exactly. So just chill. Yeah, just chill, man. You don't have to kill us over it. Right. You know, you don't have to take us to jail over it. Like, oh, yeah, they, that's ridiculous. Gonna, they ain't going to take you. They ain't no, going to take you. Oh, you know, well, you too know much, I'll go there. Too much, I'll go there. Too much they will. Too much they will. You know, <laughs> that's the what I'm about to tell you. So, me and my friends are riding around, right? Let's get a little biscuit. And, yes, y'all can laugh and chuckle. About whatever they had some good songs and we were singing yeah, I like them biscuit and I like Nickelback. I right, like Nickelback. Nickelback. Now me and you can't vibe with Nickelback. Oh, I'm, hey, I'll fight Which about Nickelback. I only have one. Look, you wanna fight the only Nickelback? Reason, the reason, only reason I like Nickelback is because I'm gonna remake that. I wanna be a rap star. Okay, I like that song. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, all right, I'm gonna recharge my last statement about Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> So, here I am, I'm driving to Limp Bizkit. That's why I can't talk shit to you, because I listen to Limp Bizkit. And I get pulled over. It's me and two other girls. Now, listeners, y'all can't see me. Y'all don't know how I look like. Just imagine me hella cute. I can see him. But still four foot seven. I can see him. <laughs> and I'm short as hell. And he's like, I can still see him. I can her. still see him. <laughs> I got one eye. Y'all know me, and I can still see it. And I can still see it. I'm four foot seven. I am technically legally a midget, and I don't care. I own that shit. I got to sit in a booster seat when I drive. I don't give a fuck. Ah. I own that shit. Anyways, so basically, y'all can see me, and no, I'm a small, Hispanic, extremely short girl that's under four foot eleven. Because I'm not going to say my height again. <laughs> and literally, the cop was like, Where, where's your ID? And now, this is my fault, to be honest. I did not have my ID on me. I thought I did. But I remembered that I left it in the diaper bag. Now, all you moms out there, like, y'all know how yeah. forgetful y'all are when you have a new baby. Like, you forget your shit. Like, my boyfriend's brother graduated from fucking high school. And I had taken the ID out of my wallet. But, but, but. To, to, so, anyways, I gave the you, cops my did information. Did you forget the baby? 
Oh no, the baby wasn't with okay, me. Okay, long as you forget yeah, the baby. I didn't forget right, the baby. Yo, I didn't forget the baby. No, fuck that. You know, and, and, and because of all these stupid people forgetting their babies yeah. in the car, I be double checking. Right. I be like, just to make right. sure, like, bitch, you dropped your baby four hours ago. Right. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Joseph. Okay, you're not back right. there. All right, you're good. You're good. You're good. So, anyways. I'm driving down, bumping music, <coughs> chilling with my friends, get pulled over. Mind you, I just got this car. So the car has paper plates. In Texas, you wait for the paper plates to come through. I mean, the the actual plates, I'm sorry, to come through to the dealership. My shit was expired June 7th. These assholes pulled me over June 9th. June 9th. That's two days after my supposedly paid replace expired where I couldn't get my fucking actual place from the dealership because it wasn't ready yet. And they know how that works. And they know how that works. But when I ask them questions, not only did they pretend that they had no fucking clue, but she called two other cops. So basically, in the span of 10 minutes, I had three cop cars surrounding me and my friends. Because I'm Hispanic. Dang. And I told her that. And matter of fact, when I told her, hey, I don't have my license, and I gave her my social security number, and everything came back clean, because I don't have no tickets. I don't have nothing under my rigor. You can look me up, like, fool, I'm All clean. All day long. All day long, I'm clean. But you know what she said? Get out of the car. Because all of a sudden... She smelled marijuana. How all of a sudden you're going to bring that shit up now, but you didn't bring that shit up before I couldn't give you my license. That is, guys, I'm telling you this for sure. Yes, comply with them because of what I'm about to tell you next. But at the same time, know that you can smoke cigarettes, fool. You can smoke a black and mild. You can smoke anything in that motherfucking car and they will, if you get pulled over, they will swear that it's weed. No, that is only an excuse to search your car. I'm not saying it's right, but I'm just warning y'all. You know what? I'm going to have to get with the Black and Mild Company, the cigarette companies, and every other other non-weed tobacco product company. And I hate to say this because I really don't agree with pushing cigarettes and shit. But we're going to have to sue them for discrimination. How the fuck you going to say a black and mild is a goddamn blunt? I know it looked like one, but just bear with me. But it's a smell. <laughs> and that's the it thing. It don't smell the same. But that's the shit. thing, though. It don't smell the same. And you know goddamn well that the cops know the difference. Yes. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you are Hispanic... If you are black, you are minority of any sort, they need that excuse. Exactly. All they can say is, oh, well, it smells like this. Yeah. I'm going to search their car. And by the way, yes, they searched my car for an hour and they didn't find a god dang thing. Yes. And I laughed. I that did. Really. I laughed in the cop's face. I was like, ha ha, Sarah. That's or real. whatever the white bitch's name was. <laughs> ha ha. Was it, was it Karen? Karen. It was, she was seemed it Karen? like a motherfucking Karen. It's because she only Karen. called the two cop cars oh, that's Karen. to back her up. Oh, that's because she definite, said, I was nervous. Definitely Bitch, Karen. Moment. When I told her that I didn't consent to a search, this was her exact words. If you don't get out, I will fucking throw you out. Exact words. I am four foot seven. That's why I mentioned my height. Can you imagine a fucking cop over five feet tall throwing a four foot? It's like throwing a child. Bitch, the fuck you talking about? Real Touch talk. me. For what? So you can She would have thrown me out before she would have found the supposedly weed, exactly. which was never found, and the charges were dropped because they had no grounds. And here's the thing. Police officers don't know the law. I told the police officer, you have to the last day of the end of the month to get your registration, your fucking plates. <laughs> 
<laughs> renewed, right? And they were hey, like, "Hey, we doing a video, goddamn!" I that wish time it was a video. Be a you should see these faces she's making, man. Dude, I have the same face like a motherfucker right now, man. I'm mocking all these fuckers, and I remember that old ass dude too. He was white, he was old, and he had a big fucking. Swollen knot on his forehead, which I'm assuming... He didn't learn the first time? Yeah, the first time. <laughs> but that was a stupid-ass fool that was like, you were misinformed. Oh, yeah. You're right, police officer. Google and the lawyer don't know what the fuck but they're, they're talking, talking about. about you going to police academy for six goddamn months. Don't learn any law. And don't learn no laws. You know what the fucking laws is. He tried to make me... Guys, you don't understand. He tried to make me feel like a criminal for having my registration and my license plate expired for two days. That's... Two days, guys. You had to the end of the month. Two days. So if it was June 7th, June 9th is when they pulled me over and I had three cops surrounding my four foot seven ass... Yeah, I talk a lot of shit, but goddamn, yeah, I, told I didn't need no three cops on my ass. I told y'all them chihuahuas going to give going to give you hell. <laughs> they got a large a large bark, but no bite, no bite. But to oh, be man. honest, I even told the cops, and you know what? Because like I said, I told her when she said your car smells like marijuana, and guys, I'm literally laughing because I'm like. We're on our way to get weed. Well, for we haven't got gotten got yet. weed yet. I'm glad you didn't uh, blow my hat. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like, exactly. I was like, holy oh, shit, I'm so happy we didn't smoke in this car because I would be screwed. But then when a bitch lies and says, I smell weed in the car. Nah, bitch, you lying. 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 I was on my way to get the lying. weed because I was dry as fuck. Nah. No, I was on my way to meet my plug. Like, you yeah, lying, I bitch. I was smoking a cigarette, yeah, but I didn't smoke no weed in here. You <laughs> lying, bitch. And then when she took all my friends out of the car, she wouldn't let any of them grab their phones. And then she looked at me. She's like, get out of the car. And I go, why? She goes, because I'm going to search it. And I literally was like, search it. And I saw it online, and I was like, you can resist that shit. That's your right as a human being, guys. It's your yes. right as an American. But here's the catch-22. If they smell marijuana, it's not even about a dog. It's just the fact. They can just say it. Whether it's true or false, they still have the right to search your car, whether you get consent or not. And the Supreme Court actually deemed that to be illegal. They did, but it still happens. They have to. The reason, the only thing they can actually do is bring a canine, and if the canine, but they didn't. That's what I'm saying. They get over on people a lot of ways. If they bring the canine, the canine is not trained. You could train it, but you can, if think about it, how can you train it to strike at non marijuana? Yeah, exactly, exactly, like cold or. Right. Yeah, it's a right. heroin. Yeah, it, like, it's only one certain thing. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's no, not facts. a canine anymore. No. So they have to train it to be able to hit. That's the only thing they can do. They got to ask you. and Because I, I, I told you my situation. They asked. I said no. And they said, okay, well, I'm going to have to get the canine out. The canine. And they got the canine They out. didn't get no canine out. What she did was she saw me. And mind you, I'm going to illiterate the fact that I'm small and I'm tiny right. because I am non threatened like I may have a loud voice, I'm loud, I'm Puerto Rican, I'm proud, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? That's that's us. That's how our people are, you know, you Puerto Ricans out there say way pa you know, represent, represent. But however I also have Dominican, so I'm ultra crazy and loud. So, <laughs> so yeah, I need to get a Dominican flag on me, honestly. If I got a Puerto Rican flag tattoo on me, I need a Dominican flag tattooed on me, too. Right. That's just not right. fair. You know what I'm saying? Right. Complete I always said both. Complete, you know what I'm saying? Complete the hell. But all I'm saying is 
God damn, I forgot what it was. The savings that I got too into it. <laughs> God, it's your fault. I not my fault. But, um, it You're was so talking the about the about the uh, dealing with the police. The police, yeah. yes. Okay. I'm both, right? Right. Oh, my and experience when I got exactly, pulled over. Exactly. They literally, when I told them, I don't consent to a search. I literally said that because I read that online and it's true. You can't say that. You can't. But here's the funny catch 22. Depending on the cop you had, it can work for you or it can happen what happened to me. She literally told me these exact words. And mind you, I'm illiterating. I am four foot seven. Right. I'm little. I'm like a fairy. I'm short. I'm tall. I'm pet- I mean, not short. Right. I'm small, petite, with no wings. Listen, I'm very, very tiny. This <laughs> white bitch told me when I said, I don't consent to a search. She literally said, if you don't get out the car, I will fucking throw you out. And that, to me, reminded me very much of Floyd's situation. Because he was in his car, and he was thrown out, and he had his... And that could have very well been me or anybody. Like, I was threatened with that shit, too. However, like, I, I'm a little girl, and I'm a little bitch. And I was like, oh, my God, for real, baby, bitch. Like, Becky, don't, don't kill me, Becky. I don't even know what her fucking name is. I want to say Sarah so bad. But anyways, because <laughs> she was a white bitch. But what I'm saying is she had three officers, I'm sorry, two other officers, including her, which is a total of three, come into the scene where it looked like the fucking street was in an accident. Only because my registration, my license plate was two days expired. I was a Hispanic driving and she said, I look nervous. Mm. Well, yeah, fucking mm. bitch. I'm nervous if you threaten to fucking throw me out of the fucking car. Yeah. And that will know, make anybody this, fucking nervous. And that's the is, thing. I, and for their losses, back them and support them. And not only that, but come together that this is not just a race thing. You're fucking Hispanic. Yes, this shit is what your war too. Fucking back everyone. We all need to be in unity. All our minorities from different countries, we all need to come together as one, period. You know what? <clears throat> On that note, we're going to take a small break. You know I'm what I'm sorry, saying? Because, no, she was speaking the truth. Sorry. Don't, 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 don't get it twisted. She was talking straight truth. I just want to give my girl a breather real quick so that we can come back and continue this truth you feel me because i'm like you you heard i don't know if y'all ain't noticed but i shut the fuck up nigga shit damn it girl i knew you preach already so yeah let me go ahead and play a couple little bit of music and we'll be right back you already know what we talking about you heard <laughs> This is the realest you should carry now, world now. Save me 
me out But the pussy didn't know what to think about my scalp Come on now, you know I'm from the south Organized hits like a body count So I did too, when I took that route Ended up in Texas, watch out mouth I can see the summer coming up like Walking down the streets, similar to climbing mouth We ain't never do the deal, rise to the brown Like a lion hunting to proceed to pounce Real close to bank robbers, go hit the same Get all the dough that I need to bounce I'm known to come up off my house Even though what weight was 65 Even if I fall, I got people needing me So you know I'm gonna come back live Come back, ride, let a real clean cook, though, that's so. Now we shift up, what wet, just to get our staff, teach in the whole damn flow. Now we coming with a plan to take back what they stole to get what we're owed. I'm a gonna go to the club, get rough, get tough, and make them cowards bold. If it didn't know my soul is gold, if it wasn't for my kids, I'd be so old. Fighting these bones can make you grow some mold until your body's cold. Just like Tyson, to keep on fighting, my lyrics and knowledge is loose as light, and I'll go shoot through the booth that the roots never mute and always shining.
mind, but I found who I was. Who I am is an artist without the deal of the buzz. Except the gift and the curse, but I'm a blessing in this verse. Be a light up on the earth before my corpse is in the earth. You know what I mean? Young you know I mean? people, you can be what you aspire to be. Doctor, lawyer, the head of an embassy. Ambassador for human rights, you can lead the fight. Just make sure that your strike is bigger than your human bites. Don't just be talking. Cause I'm taught without muscle. Uh huh. And some crime, but don't hustle. They don't work hard at all. And they wonder why the stars don't change. Uh -huh. You can't grow without the growing pains. I often wonder the pain of Nelson Mandela. Then I'm taken to the quotes of Helen Keller. It says, the only thing worse than being blind is having sight but no vision. So I say, write it down, make it plain, and execute your vision. And I want to make it less. Father attack, my potential temple of rap, the serpent attack, the serpent is a serpent to trap, fixing the fact, and my diction will crumble and crack, belligerent acts, and my music is actually rap, envision the fact, as I travel to places so far, and I'm missing all the people that's gone, my father the strong, but he stumbled and wanted to storm, not understanding that the lessons he was given was hard, he fumbled the bar, so I grabbed him the rage of the broad, they back the spawn, now I'm murdering any and all. Empty and hard, and I'm punished with thunders and swans. The bus is trumping all the labels that's holding the cars. Focus on arms, not the weapons that's tied up with scars. The past the jaw, these men are really the stars. I'm giving suggestions, I'm affecting your simple perception Before my conception, my spiritual was teaching these lessons The during inception, I get deeper than water reflection The ripple progression, tells the continents and constant depression Musical senses, I evolved the pinnacle message I handled the pressure, while the lessons get handled with stretches Handed the treasure to provide the peace to an end The sight of the end of the rainbow is exciting the trend Master within, and I studied the art of perfection My immaculate conception is now my music redemption I view through selection, most viable, highest of picks On the screen, I maneuver through defendable Grits. My mission is this, train soldiers and send them to blitz Anybody thinking they're lyrical, moving their lips I'm moving like ships, cross oceans beyond the abyss Cause the motion music is moving, it's making me sick Double up, 
I ain't telling no lies, I just Yeah I ain't telling no lies, I just Five Four Three, two That's time I got To you That money My dreams Come true My life In diamonds Who knew Who knew Soul train, took you with him over coat train. Eric B by the rope chain. RC, we for show bang. Tiny Lokes and they go crazy. What you know about the dope game? Was you born in the 80s? Did your mama smoke cocaine? Have you ever seen the whole thing? Was you drove to the streets cause you grew up on show change? Fucked up when the dope bash. It remind me when these rappers drop does and they quotes change. Had to part with the low fade. I was standing in front of Knicks with my sack for the whole day. Drive bys, I was road rage. Then we park and hop out, learn levels to this whole thing. Old school play the OJs, tryna make a slow change. Mama still slaving for a low wage. Tryna double up. Yeah. Three or four times, I ain't telling no lies, I just run it up. Never let a hard time humble us. Double up. I ain't telling no lies, I just. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't telling no lies, I just. Five, four, three, two, that's time. I got to you that money. My dreams come true. My life in diamonds. Who knew? Who knew?
Yeah, you already know who that was. That was Nipsey with Double Up. Because uh, truthfully and honestly, if you ain't doubling up, you know, you ain't really doing nothing, man. You know, you're just paying for taxes after that point. You feel me? So uh, how did you stop yourself from having to do all that? Well, you're going to have to plot on how you want to double up. But speaking of double up, you know what I'm saying? We got to understand one thing that's happening right now in this COVID-19 crisis right now. We're going to hit you up with a double up on this. How the worst of the spectrums. We are on two sides of the fucking spectrums over here. And we're going to explain how in just a moment. And I, don't, I know what you mean. What the hell are you talking about with the spectrum? We're talking about from non-essential workers who have been put out of work. And who haven't been able to actually pay their bills because the fucking unemployment is just not picking up his fucking balls and doing what it's supposed to do. And all the way to the essential workers who are just getting regular fucking pay, but yet they're the ones that's out here after busting their ass and making sure that they are exposed to all the bullshit and then not getting any extra shit while everybody in between comfortable. Like, I, I, I'm not hating on y'all. I, I, I'm just glad y'all are living comfortable. Uh, and it's not your fault. I mean, it, 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 whatever you did, you did. But the government dropped the ball with all of us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I know you feel like they didn't, but I feel like they did because maybe they, you were supposed to get more. Maybe you or some of y'all haven't got shit at all. Right. Like me. So we're going we to start by, you know what I'm saying, how they treated the people who they deem as non essential employees, you know. And, uh, you know, go ahead, baby. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to let you tell you something. You know me, Subspecter, what's up? But like I said, man, I, I'm a bartender, a damn good one at that. And I'm also a badass waitress. And the restaurant business took one of the biggest hits when it came to COVID 19. I mean, they shut everything down, and I applied for unemployment at March 16th, and here we are, more, you know, May 28th, and I haven't received a goddamn dime. So, yes, it sucks for you essential worker, workers. I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all are literally there in the front fucking lines. Whether you're grocery workers or nurses or nurse assistants or medical assistants or x-ray techs or fucking retail workers, what have you. You guys are on the front line and y'all are dealing with this. And we very much appreciate y'all. But I'm talking to the people mostly that we were let go and we were furloughed. And now we're fighting for unemployment. I mean, for two, three months and not receiving a dime. Think about how much rent that adds up to. Think about how much bills that adds up to. Think about the electric bill, food, groceries. All that shit in three months. That adds up to a bunch. And when you don't have a job and you're waiting for unemployment to give you what is due to you, because I'm sorry, I would have been working if it wasn't for COVID-19. I would be making my own money had it not been for COVID-19. But here I am waiting for unemployment because, hey, y'all decided to shut shit down. And that's great for the public safety. But then how am I supposed to pay my bills? Bills don't stop. Groceries don't stop. Your hunger doesn't stop. And you got two kids, that shit don't stop. You got to make sure that your kids and yourself are taken care of. That. So waiting two months for unemployment is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, and that's the sad thing. Like, I'm complaining only because I'm not the only one. That's the problem. Exactly. There are hundreds of Thousands of people in my same boat who were ex-bartenders and ex-waitresses that were furloughed during COVID-19 and they're only hiring a certain percentage back because, hey, they can only have a certain percent exactly. capacity. 
just think about that. They're not going to hire everybody back. That's why my job didn't hire me back. The unemployment rate rose 2.1 million today. Just think about that. Think you about know. that in just one day. And mind you, I am one of the unemployed since March, and I'm still trying to get it done. The, the higher the fucking rate is for people who are claiming unemployment, the longer it's going to get for me to get mine. And that's just how it is. That is. And Kentucky is one of the worst ones. I worked at a very prestige, really great, four-street, live fucking right. Ed Ferretti's, you know, Food Network guys, if you know about that <laughs> shit, the guy with the bleach blonde hair. Dude, I worked at his restaurant. Oh, I was promised a whole bunch of money. But then COVID hit. And then that fucked not just my future up and my savings up, but it also fucked up any other future prospects that I had. Because even though I came back to Texas to be with my fam, at the same time, there ain't no jobs here either. Because they're hiring their own people back. And again, only at a certain capacity. So it's hard. It's hard, especially when you're waiting on unemployment for months. You guys who are waiting on unemployment for months, hang in there. Keep doing your claims every week. You know, keep calling. I know it sucks, but y'all have to fight for that shit because that money is yours. Point blank, period. Yep. You suffer for two, three months without having a job or any way of income. That money, unemployment is yours. Get it. Get it. Any way and you fight can. for it. And any way you can. Any you got to fight can. for it. You know, and I've been doing the same. I've reached out. I've emailed. I've called. Shit's still under investigation. Whatever. But I'm still trying. I'm not right. giving up. Because at the end of the day, That's even if I got a job tomorrow. That's what they want you to do. Because if you give up your claim, that's more money that saves the fucking state. Fuck the Back. state. Where are they when well, you it, need it, to pay it, some bills? It, it, honestly, it is the federal. It's the, the federal. federal. It really is the a federal. The federal is the ones that's in charge of this uh, packages that's what we go out. And they literally um, just threw it on the states. They right. were like, oh, right. Right. you guys disperse of it. Yeah, you're um, supposed to do this. Figure and, it out. And, and then they don't even give the money to the states to actually do it. <laughs> so it's like, it's real hectic on that, you know what I'm saying? And, but it, it's a lot that goes around with that because right now, um, I am going to suggest that if you are going through that situation, and I know this is kind of hard and it's kind of, it's like, how do I do this? Uh, I, I, it's go, what I'm going to say is going to seem like it's impossible to do. But now is going to be the time to start your own business. Now, let me explain. Right now, a lot of stores, a lot of com corporations are going out of business. Mm -hmm. Pier 1 Imports being one of them. Mm -hmm. And that's a flu of, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot more. So what that means is, is that it's going to be a lot of fucking in, uh, real estate that's going to come up for very cheap. So that means if you get some kind of a store, such as we do here at Southside Beauty Care, with our soaps and uh, our soaps and our shea butters and our fragrances, and like I told y'all, we got the novelty soaps, so the, uh, the novelty shea butters, hand creams, and body mist, and fragrance oils from Jay Z, Beyonce, and Michelle Obama, Barack Obama, Egyptian Musk, and Pink Sugar. Come on down here, holler at us. But we are looking for some real estate really soon because you know why what is one thing that you know about McDonald's can I ask you I would say bad service bad and service? their ice cream machine never works that <laughs> that's fact that, man that's, no matter what time of day the ice cream machine never works that's funny because I had just made a post on Facebook about how last night I made my son a milkshake and he said, ooh, it's not just like McDonald's. I was like, what, I don't work? <laughs> right. Like, yeah. shit, what you trying to say? Anyways, <laughs> but you think about McDonald's and you think about the ice cream not working ever. And you also yeah. think about the burgers and french fries. But what you don't know is that 
their number one business is real estate. Did I know that? Yeah. You want to know why? Why? Because where do they have to be at to sell? Every mm. fucking way. I mean, they're global. Yeah. They, they're expanded global. They're, yeah. nat- they're not just nationwide. Right. They're international. And tell me, have you ever lived in a place where you couldn't walk to a McDonald's? No, never. Ever. That is the number one goal when it came to building their business model. But they got good nuggets, though. Oh, they do. Get it? If they've been in that barbecue sauce, (laughs) shit is off the chain. Oh, no, no. I'm a sweet and sour sauce. Oh, my God, no. No, no, no. no, no. I got to make my own barbecue sauce. Wendy's got the best sweet and sour sauce. Okay, now we're talking business. Now, right. we're now we're talking business. Now okay. we're talking business. Okay. Wendy's got the best pizza. Yes, sauce. that is because honestly, chain. I don't even mess with the chicken nuggets from McDonald's because uh, Wendy's, Wendy's is, got is, it. No, exactly. Wendy's got it down. Exactly. Wendy's is number one. That's fast. And, mm-hmm. and if sometimes and they ain't worldwide either. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't find them in China or Japan. They just they just national. Real talk. Real talk. Wendy's. Yeah. But Love now you. the bring up about the other end of the spectrum about our essential workers. We got people out there struggling. Nurses. Nurses. Yeah, and just and to, doctors and medical Struggling assistants. just to get and, by. That's you know, ridiculous. Dude. Exactly. And it's a shame that they hardly even get to see the apartment or the house that they're paying the bills in that they can afford to pay a bill. And not only that, they don't even have a lot of them. Okay, so granted, RNs maybe so they have health insurance during their contract. Right. But anything less than an RN, so you're talking about LVN, CNAs, yep. respiratory therapist assistants, physical therapist assistants. I'm talking about like medical assistants, all of these fucking people who are also on the front line don't qualify for health care no. at the fucking hospital that they work at. And right. they're in the front motherfucking lines. They're in the fucking front lines, you know, taking care of all these sick people, but they don't even have health insurance to cover them if they were to get ill. That's messed up. That is horrible. That's horrible. Like you mean to tell me the doctor that, that I EMTs? work with every goddamn day can't even diagnose me right now? With Nick, you see me every day. I know you know what the fuck I got. <laughs> like, come on now, that's some and not only shit. that, but they're they're not even testing everybody, folks. So if you have if you have multiple symptoms, okay, like you have to have. All the symptoms that match their criteria in order for them to even test you. Right. And then not only that, but the test is not comfortable. It's a fucking big ass. Think about an ear swab y'all clean your ears with, but longer. And that shit goes up your goddamn nose, both nostrils. It's uncomfortable as fuck. And that's how they test for the coronavirus. Plus a blood test. And you got to wait like two weeks to know the result of the second one. Even if your first one comes out negative. You want to hear some kicker? Yeah, they just came, the CDC just came out and said that the COVID tests that they have been using have a 50% accuracy rate. Exactly. So you don't even know now, if you have it or not. You yeah. can't be asymptomatic, meaning you have no fucking symptoms. So right. You can walk around and have and it by their virus. everybody. And you ain't sick. And yet everything's carrier. open. You're Restaurants are oh, open. Exactly. Bars are open. Mm-hmm. Movie theaters are open. Mm-hmm. Malls I, are open. Sounds like a plan to me. Sounds yeah, like a plot. It sounds, it sounds like a plot. Because I'm going to tell you just like this. Why aren't we talking about COVID organics? For all my uh, old listeners, I know y'all know what I'm talking about with COVID organics. But uh, I, you don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to put you on game. All right. Let me hit this one time and <laughs> you good? Okay, I'm good. okay, so COVID organics is a herbal medicine okay. made out of wormwood used to treat malaria okay. and also in certain forms of therapy to treat Ebola. Madagascar has found out that it's also a cure for COVID 19. 
Not surprising. Yeah, I, I mean, I can pull up the article right here and let me let you read it. Just know you know I ain't bullshit and I no, ain't just talking out the side of my neck because I've already done like three shows on it. So uh, people already know that, it, yeah, it's real. Madagascar is fighting with the WHO about. But why is there a fight over a cure? Because, because Western scientists, saying? no, why Western scientists has not taken the time to actually test it. Yeah, why? So, why? There's more profit. Think about it. There's more profit to keep you sick. For example, let's say you have COVID-19. It's $35,000. fucking thousand dollars for y'all to be treated. That is your hospital bill. Plus, that does not include your hospital stay. That does not include any tests that they do. So your shit is going to rack up over 50 grand. Easy. So that's why I believe there's such a fight because there is like cancer. You don't think there's a cure for certain cancer? Fuck yes, there's a cure for certain cancers. There's been doctors who have given natural remedies for certain cancers. And, and not only just cancers, but like simple illnesses like diabetes and, and thyroid problems and high blood pressure and all that shit. And just to throw this in uh, term of dermatitis such as eczema, psoriasis, you know, with some, some things that, you know, Southside Beauty Care cures. I'm sorry, I didn't mm-hmm, even mm-hmm. <laughs> No, I'm glad we'll you bumped in we'll because people need to know what their fucking options are, you know what yes. I'm saying? They need to know what the remedies are. So, yes. no, please, cut in whatever you feel like because he does have the remedies. He does have lotions and oils and soaps and all kinds of shit that really are natural based and that really will help you in your health. Like, I am a strong believer in that shit. And it's very affordable, which I love because... Honestly, if you think about rich people, they can afford the best health care, the best doctors, the best surgeries, the best everything. We can't. Us no. common folk, we can't. You know what I'm saying? But but there are things that we can do that keep us healthy, and that is sticking to more natural remedies, a better diet, like whatever you have to do. Like I honestly believe. That is the remedy. It is. But as far as cancer goes, no, I do believe there's a cure. Oh, but is. there's been cures. Um, but like I said, the pharmaceutical companies make more money keeping you sick. Cause that's then you can. That's pay the money maker. You know what? I always did a comparison between the pharmaceutical companies and the healthcare system with printers. Yes. Because yes. you can buy a printer and it'll last you forever. Yep. So you will never have to buy another printer. So that's why they're so cheap. But you need ink for that goddamn printer. And you're going to need and ink. And that's just expensive. Much, exactly. And if it's multicolor, you're buying multiple cartridges. I found. So it's over $50 plus. Right. I found printers that was cheaper than the ink. Yep. I have two. You're not. You're speaking the truth. So, this is how the healthcare system works. Yep. Now, my thing about the healthcare system in the uh, United States is that Ghana and Mad- well, Madagascar has uh, uh, no deaths. No, no deaths from the coronavirus. They, have, they are curing their uh, people with the wormwood. By the way, uh, there's a lot of other countries that don't have any deaths either. Yeah, no, and it's a lot of African countries that have yes. been purchasing this COVID organics. And, and that's they, why their yeah, deaths aren't as high yeah. as ours. And, and, and that's the thing, because us as the United States, let's be real, we always felt like we were superior to mm-hmm. other countries. Like, ah, you know, we're the best, whatever. Uh-huh. And But yet, look, look at Africa. Africa doesn't have the fucking them, and they and Africa is a huge ass continent. Yes. It's not a country like Trump believes because he's stupid and he's a dumbass. 
but Africa's a fucking huge ass continent that has with some, multiple countries with beautiful and, cities and their beautiful cities and civilization is not a shithole like the shithole Trump wants you to believe it's that, not it's gorgeous because if they're the shithole I believe that makes us the sewer line. Yeah, exactly. Because Cause we ain't much better than I, we were. Yeah, I'm not trying to joke about 100,000 deaths, but yes, we just crossed 100,000 COVID-19 And then, yet, what deaths. Africa's at? That's what I'm saying. Think about it, guys. Look at China. Look at Italy now. Like, now, as of May. Look at Africa. Deaths now, as of May. It's not as high as the United States. It's nah. not even fucking close. No well. And that's the thing. You gotta think. Like, honestly, guys, I don't like to spread paranoia. I don't. It's not who I am. That's not what we're trying to do. And it's not what we're trying to do. But think about it. China's about to experience this second wave of COVID-19. You don't think we next? It's, it was already established by Anthony Fauci that there will be another wave in the fall. And everybody... Get ready for it, guys. Who, yeah, That's all see, I'm saying. Now we're finna talk a little bit about the economics. I know I, I know it's getting a little late. I don't know how late you got. You I'm know, good. You good? All night. Okay, because this is where you actually want to start planning. Because a lot of people don't understand that whenever a global disaster like this happens, this is a money-making opportunity. No, oh, it is. Like, the people, whoever invested in toilet paper, yo, no, they fucking money. made... Made money. Mucho pains. No. Which, by the way, did not understand why everyone was buying toilet paper up. It's not a fucking virus that comes out of your ass, folks. No, they, you know... they. I don't it. understand. No, 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 see, you don't... I figured it out. I figured it out on long time ago. Why? People are so full of shit and they so used to shitting on other people that being stuck in their own house, now they're stuck with their own shit. So they, so they need to paper, paper to they clean, clean that shit up. shit up. Yeah, you know what? Yes. <laughs> That's for all you bullshit. It's bullshit. Exactly. Yeah, we calling you out. Exactly. Yeah, you know who I'm you are. I'm sorry, you know who you are. You know who you are. <laughs> you know, also the same motherfuckers that bought all the motherfucking beef ramen noodles. That's my shit. That's my shit. I like to put lemon pepper on that shit and some hot sauce. Oh, yeah. shit. You should have told me. And them motherfuckers bought it all up. You should have told me because I had to buy beef because they bought all the shrimp. The only shrimp. No, I love beef. <laughs> Fuck uh, shrimp. Yeah, Beef is the uh, only one ramen yeah, noodles I, I will buy. I, 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 fuck, I got a shitload of beef right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> if he complains next week, folks, if someone <laughs> robbed him of beef ramen noodles, I just want to say right now, it wasn't me. It oh. totally wasn't me. Maybe it was, but... Um, no one's recording this. <laughs> Y'all forget tomorrow. <laughs> Already, but you know, before I actually step into the economic part about what I need to talk about, I need to actually do my little disclaimers because I know I pissed off my lawyers enough if they listen to this one right now. So let me go ahead and get this taken care of real quick. So just chill. Be your witness, radio, Southside bosses, its owners and associates take no responsibility for the opinions or statements made by the talk show host or their guests. Statements or show topics are not necessarily the beliefs of the site or this radio station, and opinions between talk show hosts may conflict. This site does not endorse anything as the truth that you will have to judge for yourself. But we try to speak the truth on the owner's behalf and reserve the right to question the supposed truth. In this time of misinformation, government-controlled media, and government corruption, it is sometimes hard to get to the truth, but we must try. It is not our intention to libel, discriminate, make hate, or annoy anyone. We believe that it is our constitutional First Amendment right of free speech to voice our opinions and our duty to the Constitution and country to expose the truth. This site takes no responsibility for the opinions of others and the postings of comments in chat rooms or forum posts. You cannot have people disrespecting our national anthem, our flag, our country. Man, what the fuck? 
Here's you not knowing White people massacred the natives and they started growing Built a system to keep down the little man I ain't crying like a bitch I'm just saying, man, this shit's real out here If you a darker complexion, you better do the speed limit through that intersection I guess you gotta really live this shit to see the connection And if you don't, you don't get to second guess it Ass backwards, false patriotic cowards Doing backflips over Kaepernick's protest Hypocrites like that bitch in the White House Trump ain't a man, he's more like a fucking mouse Built for little hands, narrow-minded puppet fans You just a little man and Trump's like the middle man For closet racists, billionaire homophobes I'm sick of your ignorance, dude, you act like you know You got scam more than the Taj Mahal, damn I'm not surprised when half the population vote And most view democracy as a fucking joke A system rigged just to shit on its own kids America, land of the fuckery Where a pedophile gets less Jail time did me for selling drugs Ain't that about a bitch They took freedom and made it only for the rich Then took health care and did the same shit But we too brainwashed to see the bait and switch Which is really sad, got us fighting each other While the billionaires are pulling the country under I love America enough to call out the flaws So we can make it better, not just build stupid walls Yeah that's the best you got, simple tins. You ain't got a job, so you blame it on the Mexican. We got war, so you blame it on the Taliban. Scapegoats for politician deep throats. It's pure smoke, and you can't smell the fire. I love my Uncle Sam, but he's a goddamn liar. Anything to make a buck, he don't give a fuck. Shit, could blow a whole country up. Yeah. The homie Halliburton, oh what's up? They let that tax money cause we just give it up oh, It's free money, no cap beers on our kids money Star Spangled Banner built off free slave money Blood money, Kennedy's head money America's a dirty bitch, only out for the money Because we let her, the people will even vote Too busy YouTube and sitting back drinking coke I ain't here to roast just point shit out. You ain't woke cause you want my shirt and quotes. Kneeling is not about a flag. It is about the degree to which African American people and other people of color are continually uh, put upon by police people who do not ultimately respect them. The respect issue is right, except in this case, it has to do with African American people who are being mistreated by the police and other forms of noxious racism and discrimination that persist. It was a war on drugs and then a war on thugs when they run out of reasons, bet they war on us. You really think they care about the color born on us? Nah, we're all just collateral damage Cause part of the planet's misunderstanding creates division And once we are divided, chances are we don't listen Things might change when it is us against the system Or they sell us like slaves Man, we start to think different then They still talking about the left and the right I wanna talk about the brains and who's controlling the flight I need to know who's at the wheel if I'm paying them wages And if they stick to a script, who created those pages? So many stages and a stockpile of actors They say that I am crazy cause I'm Pointing out the trap doors to double talk Expected no more, no less Can't say it ain't a con, what's the opposite of progress? Funny shit, we got a money pit Now overall, we need an overhaul Not a border wall Call this a kind of sort of call to arms For non-sheep, not asleep Peeps protecting they farms Whose weapons get drawn To defend what's fact and what's right I give a damn if it's black or it's white I prefer my protection to be natural selection Second guessing the election Regardless of who the winner is the president is only meant to preside Just a face for the space where corporations decide Who gets what, where they can get it, how much it costs The game is meant for them to gain, it's meant for us to take a loss I never claim to be a boss, I'm the 99% The employee at your job is doing work while he vents Folks looking at me odd like I'm giving off a scent Might be they upper lips since they brown nose and kiss ass And since they kiss ass and brown nose Jim Jones is the bartender, so I let him down those Mixed drinks as they congregate and swap spit The 1% fooled us into thinking we ain't got shit We got numbers and we got motivation If the talk is taboo, then we need them conversations That will calm down the rage, get us on the same page Or we'll share the same cage when the shit hits the fan, man Let me tell you who disrespects the flag A man who stands up and lies daily Let me tell you who disrespects the flag A man who would get in bed rhetorically and symbolically with a person who has been seen as an enemy of the American state, Vladimir Putin. Let me tell you who disrespects the flag. 
a man who foments dissent uh, against the precious ideals of American society, who embraces neo-Nazis as equal to people who oppose them. That is the subversion of American anthems and flags. A flag is a piece of cloth unless it is backed up by the high ideals and the noble aspirations for which this country fought and in which it has continued to bleed in order to realize the best for everybody. So when NFL players take a knee, they are not disrespecting a flag. They are not disrespecting an anthem. They instead are going down to make us rise up, to make us look up at the ambitions we hold dear that should be applied to everybody. And right now they're not. The clan is in the building. Zinaenda kukalali, zinaenda kumasobila Na endo pangamane njaba Zinezo funa kuona we uvutika So I left you Na ma promise zi Mumutima ni nati angama memory zi But ine poenda kesa to mjuru say I went to hustle Ndaba life yenze yolimba Manje na poela na kupeza Oli na mimba I promise you that I will be there for you But why did you do that? Mutima wanga pansi ona watiaka na ma memorizi Wachita diliti bati ine poenda I guess I told you that I went to hustle na ma life yenze yolimba Manje na poela na kupeza oli na mimba I promise you that I will be there for you But why did you do this? Na di kwebe nyenka buela Niggas 
Niggas hatin' cause they just wanna ride the wave Niggas hatin' cause they just wanna ride the wave Niggas hatin' cause they just wanna ride the wave I got niggas in my clubs, they they bang I don't fuck with you motherfuckin' lanes I got niggas on the corner that's gon' slang I got niggas in a gang that's gon' bang I had to stop sippin' lean poppin' zang I had to break that shit and give myself a chance I got 50 fucking bands in my pants. Pull them up, Louis Bill. I don't say. 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 You know why I go. For that money, sell your soul. That's a fact. Dressed in black. I'ma fuck but I can't fuck her if she fat That's my rules, not tryna be wrong Bitch, I'm winning, I can't lose I pour gin all in my jewels No pretend, no way for fools Low-key, that my dog, that my shit If I fuck up, you can shoot me in my head But if she fuck up, you can take her life instead But if she fuck up, you can take her life instead they say Gucci this, Gucci that Saint Laurent on my back Ball mine on my ass Bitch, I switch my clothes Like my hoes Bitch, I got the sauce On you hoes Christian on my tippy toes Javonchi on my tippy toes Bitch, I'm dripping Dripping on you hoes
Try reverse and all if time reverse. Mo would I live this same life growing up without a fuck it? Yo, me make it out, yeah. Mo me say yes, me soldier. As the ends full of rice, because me makes you prouder. Me a go make you think you rich till them can't take the order. Them want to see me drop me gun, so every step me sober. Squad in me no take pull over. Come in no left the rogue. Them a go witness man rise. Just ask Jehovah. Dance and ask Jehovah. Success that make me enemy scared Circus man, link large No sweat and holy papi Fight the fight, no we in charge yeah. Success that make me enemy scared Circus man, link large No sweat and holy papi Fight the fight, no we in charge Them want to see me water down Them strength me never ask for none Crazy dollars, crazy hammers So they can't run the weed I like, me feel the vibe, you get a flask of rum Fuck them girl, she left her heart with me, she left her jaws of rum Boss life, still I get used to this past life Back in the day, she used to pass like you alright Strap down, when the cash come, yo me not lie So me never give up, hold the faith and go and try Success to make me enemy scared Circus man, link large No sweat and holy papi Fight the fight, no we in charge Success to make me enemy scared Circus man, link large No sweat and holy papi Fight the fight, no we in charge Been through the roughest times, why them want my life to worse? Me learn to load the gun before me learn to buy the verse Them think me dead, me skill, me skip the grave and sight the earth Go forward, me not try reverse And I live time reverse Mo would I live this same life Growing up without a fuck it, yo, me make it out, yeah Mo me say yes, me soldier As the ends full of rice, because me make you prouder Me a go make you stinking rich till them can't take the order Them want to see me drop me gun, so every step me sober Squad in me no take pull over, come in no left the rogue Them a go witness man rise, just ask Jehovah Ask Jehovah, yeah Success that make me enemy scared Circus man Link large, no sweat and holy papi Fight the fight, no we in charge yeah. Success to make me enemy scared Circus man, link large No sweat and holy papi Fight the fight, no we in charge yeah. Yeah. B.O.S.S. South Side Ball. 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 South